Hello, YouTubers and uh, people in Washington State. We're coming from Washington State. This is our Bible study. My name is Lubella, and my daughter name is Tabitha. And we are having Bible study today, and this I know is going out um, not just local, but throughout the whole world. And today we are preaching, when we are teaching, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And this is part two of what we left off on uh, teaching the kingdom of heaven at hand. And we want to today teach on uh, this topic here. Why did these women who followed Jesus, was it because to minister food only to the disciple, or was it for a greater purpose to become disciples also of the Lord Jesus Christ? And we, we want to uh, start teaching on these things. So first we want to start, I want to first start to say that these women, um, that we're speaking of, the women who followed Jesus and his disciples was Israelite women also. They ministered the food and also was learning wisdom, knowledge, with understanding of the word of the Lord God taught by Jesus. So we're gonna we're gonna prove that these women was Israelite. We're gonna prove that these women that followed Jesus with uh, the twelve disciples also learned the word of God. And first, we're gonna turn to the book of Joel, the second chapter, in the twenty-eighth verse. And my daughter gonna read uh, again. We're gonna turn to the book of Joel where we laugh off, and we're going to uh, read uh, Joel, the second chapter, the twenty-eighth verse. And it came to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions, vision, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Twenty nine verse says, And it also and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days do I pour out my spirit. So you see, in the book of Joel, the Lord said in the last days that he would pour out his spirit on all flesh. He was talking about the Israelite. And all of this flesh, not just the men's going to prophesy, but the women's also. So a lot of people saying that women cannot teach or preach the word of God when God uh, poured out his spirit upon all flesh. Let's, let's find out what uh, do uh, the word prophesied mean. It said that uh, that uh, they shall prop the daughters shall prophesy as well as the men. So let's find out what prophesied, what prophesied means. So we're going to the Webster the Webster Dictionary. I think the name of this dictionary is uh, Riverside Webster II New College Dictionary. So we go into that dictionary and we're going to find out what do uh, prophesies mean. Um, I'm going to read what it means. Prophesy means by the Webster Dictionary said, revealed by the divine inspiration. Revealed by divine inspiration. Here's a second meaning also. To reveal the message of God. That's what prophesy means. That a person revealed the message of God. And um, I also want to bring out, we, we brought out, now we know that prophesied is a person who given the, the, the word of God. And now we're going to find out, since we're speaking specifically about women, we're going to find out what do the prophetess, the word prophecy, we know what a prophet is, and we know Moses was a prophet, we know Jeremiah was a prophet, we know the first prophet was Abel, and, and the... And the uh, Old Testament, as Jesus said about Abel, was his prophet. So we're going to find out that the prophetess is a woman. So uh, what the Webster Diction New College Dictionary say that, that um, prophecy means? It means a woman who speaks by divine inspiration. A woman who Speak by divine inspiration. That is what prophecy means. So, uh, 
And they and in, in second meaning of uh, prophets is, is the chief spokesperson or a cause of a movement. Now that's what prophets said. Prophetess mean a woman who speaks by the, the divine inspiration. So now we are saying that the women, uh, the, those women that who listen to Jesus, are women who was serious. The one named Mary, she was very serious about uh, learning, like the, the other uh, disciples. So we're gonna go on and saying. Um, we're going on now to, um, when I'm trying to bring out some information of uh, the Israelite women in the Bible who minister to Jesus. This is what I'm bringing, trying to bring out. The, Israel, the information of Israelite women in the Bible who also minister to Jesus of their daily, their, of, of their daily needs, the disciples and Jesus of their daily needs. But also, they was not... They were the, they was ministered to Jesus of his day to me and his disciples, but they was learning the word of God when they were hearing Jesus speaking to the the, the, the other twelve apostles uh, disciples. So um, let's turn to the book first. Let's turn to the book uh, of Luke, and we're gonna uh, kind of um, so you understand what we're talking about here. When we're teaching you about the Israelite women who follow Jesus and, uh, and were learning his word. And, and he spoke to Mary uh, at Martha House that the good part would not be taken away from her. That she's going to be able to teach God's word also. Let's go to the book of Luke. And, uh, and I want to, uh, did we already say this? No. Okay. Chapter 10, uh, verse 38. Chapter 10, let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 10 and verse 38, and I want you to read verse 38. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house, and she had a sister called Mary. Let's stop right there. First of all, when Jesus was, in his ministry, Jesus was uh, walking and he came to many houses, but this time he came to a certain village, and uh, this certain one was named Martha, as it said. And uh, she received Jesus into her house. She had a, a sister named Mary that flex, uh, uh, paid close attention to uh, what was said about Mary. Read on. Okay. Verse 40. We on verse 40 now. Okay. And but Martha was covered about much serving, and came to him and said, Lord, doest thou not care that my sister had left me to serve service alone? Bid her, therefore, that she helps me. Stop right there. Martha was uh, uh, worried about many things. There were humbling, humbling men worried about much serving, and she came to Jesus and asked Jesus, said, Lord, do you not care that my sister left me here to serve? So let's see what Jesus said to uh, Martha about her sister Mary. Read on in verse Martha, 4. Martha, thou, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing... Well, let's stop right there. Right, I'm sorry, just stop right there. He told Mary, Martha that she was worried about a lot of things. You know, the Lord knows all things and knows all people. So he, she, he told Martha that she was worried about many things. But... Uh, uh, I just want to let you know that uh, the Lord is paying attention to everything. So go, keep on reading. But one thing is needful, and Mary had chosen that good thing for a good part, which shall not be taken away from her. If you're following us in the Bible, we is reading Luke, the 10th chapter, and the 38th verse. To 42. Uh, to verse 42 in the Bible. Now, uh, one thing is needful, and Martha had chosen that good part, which not should take away from her. Jesus told Martha that Mary had chosen to teach the word of God. This is exactly what that good part is. So God calls things good when he's talking about his word. So the good part is that Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet, listen to the word of God, and she wants to one day do like those 12 uh, uh, disciples that the Lord had chosen. Okay? 
And he totally wasn't there going to be taken away from her.